Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, hello. My name is Ashley, also known as the founder of Claim Your Magic Online. And I am back with another Taiwan vlog. I'm so excited. I took a little bit of a break. If you caught on, I took a couple weeks off to really just reground myself because, yeah, I really wasn't scheduling myself very well in advance with creating these videos. So I took a little bit of time off to really get a schedule together, get a bunch of ideas in line so that I could batch create a bunch in advance so that we have a lovely schedule of videos going out every Saturday, at least to the best of my ability. And so we are back with another Taiwan vlog. If you're new here, then these Taiwan vlogs are actually from, it'll be almost a year ago, March of 2020 was when I first went to Taiwan to go visit my boyfriend Vinny. And so I held on to this footage for almost a year <laughs> and now I'm finally going through and creating the vlogs for y'all, partially as a way of me just reliving my time out there, but also for y'all to see what my life was like out there. And so... One of the first trips that I took around the country is um, up to Taipei. And so the last vlog I shared with you the first day while I was out there. Um, this is the second all day experience. So to start, we actually went to this museum. We went to a museum. Um, I'm trying to pull it up. Lin An Tai historical house and museum. Sorry, I forgot the name of it, but it was a traditional style like house that's still in Taipei. Honestly, I don't really remember the history behind this all too much. You're gonna have to Google it. <laughs> but we, we ventured around, it was really cool. So while we were out there, there was actually a photo shoot going on with like, I don't know, they look like teenagers. Um, I don't think I actually got footage of it because I felt kind of creepy. <laughs> Um, but as we were going through the house and there was like a pond area, there were people doing a photo shoot, which was really cool. Um, and yeah, it was really nice to see like what traditional style houses looked like. They were brick and they had the, I don't know what they're called, but they had those roofs like that. And then there's a courtyard in the middle. So it was really, really cool. Um, getting to see that as well as um, they kind of gamified it for the kids where there are different parts of the the part the museum where they had like little stamps and so when you stamp them all together if you stamped a bunch of the different stations together they actually create a picture and I don't think I have it anymore or I have it somewhere in my souvenirs but I had like I had a found I had found a piece of paper and I like stamped them all together and it was really cute um, so yeah, after that, we went to the botanical garden um, and yeah, so one of the things about me that I have grown to love in the past couple years while I travel is being in nature. And so I love being in actual nature, like in the mountains, in the water, in the whatever. But I really like enjoyed going to botanical gardens in cities, especially because obviously in a city you really don't get that much foliage or any sort of nature. So I I asked my boyfriend, I'm like, can we go to this botanical garden? And he's like, okay. And so, <laughs> okay, it wasn't like, okay, but he was like, sure, if you want to go, we can go. Um, he hadn't been, so yeah, we got to check it out. Lots of beautiful, beautiful things. A lot of different terrain, which I thought was cool, like um, there was a more rainforesty vibe area, there was a more desert vibe with a lot of like cactus and succulents, um, and, a, and then there was more of like stuff that I would see back home here in Boston, which was kind of cool too. And so yeah, we, we travel around and we went to a park. Um, that was near, I believe it was near the actual botanical garden. We went around there. So where we went to was actually this place called the Floral Tunnel. And <laughs> it actually wasn't the right time of year to go because the flowers hadn't completely bloomed. So it was just like a bunch of vines over the um, 
the walkway but i've seen like when i was like researching this i remember looking online and being like oh that's really cool there's flowers over this um walkway and it looks super beautiful really aesthetic i could take some pics for the gram but it turns out it was not season so it's okay from there we were just like venturing to this sashimi place um but on the way, it was so interesting. There are there were a bunch of places that I saw that were just like completely abandoned and like nature had taken over, I guess we'll call it that. And so I had taken a bunch of pictures. After that, we decided to go for lunch. Um, it, like I said in past vlogs, a lot of my traveling requires me to eat some really good food. <laughs> So there was a place that I actually saw on TripAdvisor, um, this place called Sunway Canteen. Well, that's the English translation for it, but um, it is known for their like sashimi, um, their sashimi and their sushi um, and the portion sizes. And so you'll see there like literally there was a portion of the sashimi that was literally the size of my hand. Some really, really yummy hand rolls. We got uni, we had roe. Um, and then we had like um, scallops wrapped in bacon and I feel like there was more but I don't think I actually captured it and so that was delicious. I won't lie. It definitely was a little bit more on the pricey side of being in Taiwan but honestly that price is probably cheaper than in America. Like I'm pretty sure for our whole meal we paid like 50 US dollars but I mean truthfully if you were to get something like that in America you'd definitely be pay paying way more than 50 dollars especially for just the sashimi alone like yeah you play you pay a pretty penny for that kind of stuff back here so I was really excited to try it it was so freaking good the place was super packed so that was basically why I didn't want to vlog the experience because one I don't think I actually had my vlogging like stand thing yet um but also it was so packed we had to like wait like half an hour to an hour to get inside and yeah I just didn't want to hold up like out of like respect for everybody else who was already waiting outside i didn't want to like make a whole ex like video being like okay you were eating because everyone was also super super close to each other some people were sharing tables with other parties um and yeah so i just chose not to do that um so i took a bunch of pictures instead the food was bomb i yeah i have no other words to say with that um and afterwards we decided to go to Shimen. Oh god, I'm gonna pronounce this so wrong. But anyways, I guess this is like the cool hip area in Taipei. Um, it kind of reminded me of like um, Harajuku or like um, <clears throat> where was the other place in J Japan in Tokyo? Um, I forget, but we'll get back to it. I'm sure I'll put it in the edit while I'm editing here. Um, but yeah, it was super cute area, all fashionable stuff. You could tell these like these younger people were were there to look cute and stun on everybody because they were dressed all cute and they had, they were posing and like you know being extra cute but i was really just there just to see what was it what was about plus we had some time to kill we're meeting another part of his mom's side of the family and meeting up with his dad to get dinner so we were like what are we gonna do let's go walk around this area so i ended up getting <laughs> I ended up getting the little holders for like bubble tea. I mean, you could use it for any drink really, but I I just been seeing it everywhere and I'm like, you know what? When in Taiwan, we're going to get one of these. So I got a cute one that was like an astrological like planet stars thing. So that was really cute. Used it for my whole trip. I still have it, but I don't really get bubble tea anymore. So I'm sure once things are more normal, I'll be out and about drinking bubble tea um so yeah from there we went to another location so today was just like this particular day was just all traveling it was just all like touristy places to visit museums um, popular spots in the city um and my boyfriend wanted to go to this one place so we went to this um historical block called Bopilao. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry. I'm mispronouncing it so hard, I know. Um, but it was like this old school city block, which was so, so cool because um, 
this is definitely something I hadn't really seen at that point, but it was another one of those like old, they kept the old structures, um, but it definitely seemed more modern than the one that we had seen earlier in the day because there was bits of wood. It kind of reminded me of like being in Japan um, and it was really neat. I, I didn't really know too much about it. I know my boyfriend only really wanted to go there because there was supposed to be some sort of like exhibit there of like <laughs> old school like gangster clothing like um some remnants of someone's clothing there but it wasn't there which kind of bummed him out because that was the only reason why we went after that we met up with his family at the national chiang kai-shek memorial hall <laughs> I think around 6 or 5 30 or something like that they do a changing of the guards so if you've ever been to like London um, like at Birmingham Palace they have a changing of the guards in the actual um, museum so we want to go see that you'll see I'm just gonna go ahead and play the clip um, I will say it's a little a little lengthy so I'm just going to speed up the video And then after that, we finally head out to go eat some dinner. So they took us to Din Tai Fung, which I've been to in America. I've been when I was in LA about a year before this. Um, I went with my cousins and I already knew what I was going to get. So I was like, this is bomb, but I know y'all will pick something really good. Because they're like, Ashley, what do you want? I'm like, you know, whatever feels, whatever you want to eat, sure, let's go for it. <laughs> I don't know. I just didn't want to impose upon people. So I was willing to eat whatever dumplings, whatever food, and everything they picked was absolutely delicious. And um, yeah, the, li the line to wait was kind of lengthy, even though we had, I think we had made a reservation in advance. Um, there was still a bit of a waiting time to get in. And it's crazy because, you know, considering what was happening back home with you know COVID and everything like everything was like normal like this the freaking place was packed packed and so yeah we had a lot of delicious food there and then afterwards they're like you want to go get some dessert or you want to go get something to drink we can walk around and I was like oh like sure like i really just like didn't know what to expect and they were just so kind like his family is so kind and accommodating like um they brought us around nearby there was another street that was like that had a bunch of different like um it wasn't a night market or anything but there were just a lot of food and restaurants um that you can just like pop into to get like a bubble tea or just like small snacks and stuff along the way so we just ended up getting another bubble tea as if i didn't have two that day <laughs> <laughs> um we had another one before we headed back onto the train back to our hotel and so yeah that's really what happened in a day i didn't want to i was going to continue making the next day but i realized i think it's getting a little lengthy so i will save it for the next vlog so yeah 
Don't forget to hit the like button. That really helps me out with the algorithm as well as subscribing to my channel to see when the next video is out. Um, it's going to be every Saturday. That is what my plan is going to be, but it will be a variety of the vlogs as well as some other ideas coming up. So yeah, thank you again and I hope you have a beautiful day. Bye!